Yo, what's good, everybody? It's been a minute. It's Roku. If you've been missing me or whatever, but it is what it is, man. I just have my gripes with this game. I know everybody has already talked about the IG and stuff that happened. And I really don't want to like reiterate that, but I, I've been, I'm pretty much disappointed in how the pre pre presentation happened and then reading the news uh, about it. So I'll briefly talk about um, some of the problems I've been having with Marvel Snap and making content for you guys and stuff like that. And uh, just the needing a break from the game for playing this stuff. I haven't played this season. I haven't bought the season pass. Um, I've been playing a different game, and I don't know if I'm going to make content on that, but I've just been trying to, you know, be separate from Marvel Snap. I just kind of fell out of love with it. But the, the IGN stuff was kind of like what pushed me over in that direction of needing a break. And I really didn't want to make this video, and I didn't want to, like, be, sound like a doomer or anything like that, but I also don't want to be a shill, you know, how most other content creators make content on this because they get paid from this. And so they'll say everything uh, good about it. But even then a lot of the IGN stuff, even for the shills, we're just kind of like, well, fuck, like we're not really, they didn't really say much. And I'm kind of disappointed in some of the features that have been go like that are away, but they're still looking forward to the Deadpool thing. And, and that's the thing. We, we only get a momentary change in the game and then when we look at the roadmaps and stuff it states that you know it, you know graphical improvements and stuff like that and i play on pc and everything has just been as ran slow like i'm clicking on daily missions and stuff and none of my stuff is popping up like i don't understand how my stuff is not popping up see all missions like it's been slow it runs sluggish on my computer i can run a billion other different games but the UI in itself needs to be fixed because it's been starting to like piss me off. But I, like, if you look, I, like I said, on my season pass stuff or any of the the missions and everything like that, I haven't tech, I haven't really played it. This this like carried over from over from last season or some shit. Like I don't know how this is saying this stuff because I haven't played this in since the new season started. Haven't bought a season pass. Normally I buy season passes all the time. I only get on here to collect. Uh, only get on here to collect the credits, the free credits, and I only sign on to like collect the gold and, and I bounce. But one of the things that have pissed me off that I, I looked at the Discord uh, for Marvel Snap and a lot of people were echoing the same sentiments that I was talking about. And I don't want to show I don't want to show the, the Discord messages, but if you ever get a chance and, and you still like the game and you're not a part of the Discord, join the Discord because it's always been hit and miss some people will praise something and you know i'll like that some people will have something bad about uh about what this game is becoming and i'll like that um we've, we've been seeing a lot more content creators like stop like stopping make like stop from playing the game but one of the things i wanted to talk about and i wish this wasn't so goddamn slow because why is it so fucking slow is the peach momoko album i only have one peach momoko but out of my collection, I still don't have a lot of pe peaches. I have like the the different knoll. I have um, the mystique. Like that one's one of my most like badass uh, variations that I got because I actually love the art on that. And it's just the math is not mathing for what for how much this variant is going to cost out of pocket if you try to get for the if you try to get gold. Now everybody's talking about oh I, I saved gold for I, I saved gold for this specific moment because this was data mined. But we know not to trust like things that are data mined anymore because majority of the time they've completely changed it. Something will be completely different. Like Firestarter was supposed to be was a card that was supposed to come out right. That was data mined. Then they completely scrapped it. So you can't trust data mines as it being the definitive answer to for uh brand new cards or variants uh, or any of that sort. It's just, I got, I got, I got, all these are 1200, right? Every, every single one of these are 1200. There's like eight new ones. The blade is new. 
Uh, yeah. Every one of these are, are brand new variants that you have to go and spend in the shop. And then, and we we had it yesterday, whenever I was collecting my gold, I saw it. Every one of them was 1,200 gold. But I only have, you only giving me one fucking card. And it's a Jubilee. No, I didn't have two to try to, like, at least make the incentive of me wanting to buy a variant with the gold if I had enough for it. To, to try to get a fucking avatar. And then even then, it's a fucking avatar. That I'm probably not going to fucking use. See, this is what, like, pisses me off. Because what's the point of gold? If it's all just mainly for cosmetic stuff. Maybe because I haven't played in a minute and haven't been looking at any of the the bundles or anything like that. I haven't seen one for like gold. And if it is, it's like the most expensive gold bundle of like all fucking time. I think the last one I saw was the, the She-Hulk bundle. And it was very expensive to get. It was damn near a $99 deal just to get a cosmetic. So, so make it make sense. So if I spend $99 to get this avatar, the boosters, right? It's pretty cool. It looks cool. But I get one new card right i get one new card because six thousand tokens is one series five card i get one new card that i have to spend a hundred bucks for that also has the potential to be changed because enough people will you know bitch about it but six thousand gold will what would allow me to do to, to get a new border for my card to make it look shiny and shit. They do all this gold and shit, but we don't have character mastery. They do all this gold and shit for cosmetics, but we don't have first edition badges. Or the or for with the six thousand tokens, I could buy a fucking ultimate variant. That doesn't do anything. That's, that's going to be nothing special. Because all of them are 5,000. And on top of that, we have 5,000 tokens. And one of the fucking... The, the albums has... I forgot which one it was. Was it this one? That's an ultimate. That's an ultimate. That's 5,000 fucking tokens. To get a key? For a chance to possibly unlock a fucking Series 5 card? Depending on how your luck is with the spotlight caches? Which has always, to me, been bullshit. Or to get a, the, a super small bullshit, random bullshit go, Moon Knight. That's smaller than the rest of the fucking emotes. And I damn sure know that majority of the of all of these are 1,200. All these are 1,200. Except for this, because it's a, a 5,000 tokens. There was another one that was a, an ultimate. What, what was it, Arrow? I don't know where Ar I forgot where Arrow is, but there's an Arrow one that's an that's an ultimate that are in albums. That that's what pisses me off. That's enough. That that's what pisses me off. You got ultimates and they don't do shit. They don't do shit. They don't do shit because game development problems. Hashtag all the well. Picture of a dolphin. All the well.
Yes, the albums. What what's gold supposed to do? What 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 are we doing with gold? You know, I have the potential to unlock it for my collection track, right? I might have a collector's reserve to to, to unlock it, but I also have a, a high probability of getting a gold ticket, and I'm not gonna fucking play Conquest. Because in the end, all it does is turn into fucking whatever. Boosters, that's right. It turns into fucking boosters. I'm gonna win all that shit, and it's gonna turn into Agatha boosters, because even though if I play with Agatha, she takes all my boosters, so it's just ridiculous for me to get Agatha boosters when I play, if I play her, then like she gets all the boosters. Like, what the fuck are we doing here, man? What what are we fucking doing here, bro? I'll say this. Uh, I'll be on. I'll, I'll be on the good note. Some of the changes that they did were great. I don't know why Black Knight got got the stray that he got because I'm a Black Knight person. And I was playing him even when he did suck ass. And then they made him unshitty. But then the combo was a little bit of a bitch to get because, you know, it, it all depends on how you like your card draw and everything else. So I understand why the, the win rate for that deck was not all that great. But it was something that I had fun with. Now, you got Shadow King all over the place because they decided to add Thenas and stuff like that. And uh, Gigamesh and Sage and all these other cards. You know, to, to bring the value up with Shadow King, but then now you have Blue Cage to prevent it. I don't know, man. It's just like, if it's not one thing, it's another thing. Now you can move all your cards into Professor X lane and everybody else can move, which I don't have a problem with because I was one of the things about last season that pissed me off was the Professor X like cannonball stuff. I was playing that shit, but also at the same time, I was trying to play different decks and then. I was just matching up with every other fucking deck being a, either a fucking Living Tribunal shit or a fucking Professor X. And if I try to go and, and run my counter for 50 games, then counter deck, then I wasn't playing against those decks. But it is what it is. Sometimes you hit, you hit the fucking wall and shit don't go your way. That's, it's part of the fucking game. RNG this and RNG that. But it was just so, like, the game was just so fucking tiring, bro, by that point. Like, I was just... The last week of the of last season, I just couldn't do it. I, I just couldn't. I just I couldn't bring myself to to play the game anymore, dude. And like I said, I haven't touched it since then. Like for the last week, I was just like, man, I can make a push for infinite because I'm at like ninety six, ninety seven. I just didn't want to fucking play it. Just it was no point. Because I normally try to make my infinite runs at the end. And it just at the point, it was no point. And I didn't want to spend fucking seven, eight, nine hours sitting down and trying to fucking get to infinite like where all these content creators are doing. It's one of the problems I've been having in the game. The fucking the UI slow. I don't like my shop. Everything's been got, getting too expensive. What's the point of gold? We don't have character mastery. We're getting a temporary game mode. They They're finally deciding to do in concept uh, of uh, draft mode. And it's been something that's been talked about and it's something that they de they denied, but now they're asking us, what do we want to see in draft mode? We've been fucking clamoring for this over over uh, uh, clans or alliances or whatever the fuck or league or whatever the fuck they're doing. This has been draft. I've been seeing more draft mode, more than alliance and stuff like that. I'm not a fan of uh, of alliances that like whatever I guess um I know they have a free one and then they have a premium one to like play for so the the, the premium one's probably gonna have a lot better rewards and everything like that but it's just a thing to go on ladder and and snap and and do shit and hopefully it's for like cooler shit I don't know what the prizes are but we just have been having lame rewards for this game for a long time. And it took it took me this long to fucking wake up and be like, what the fuck are we doing here? Like, what have we been doing? What has Second Dinner been doing? What have I been doing to where I'm just all like, 
did I become a shill and, and, and think like this game was perfect or something? Because I know my track record on YouTube is not is not is not it. Depending, no matter if I try to make a deck or whatever, then I try to make a, a do conversations about the game. I don't have a fucking podcast. I, I don't have another person to bounce like ideas off of or anything like that. I don't have a you know a podcast with you know two shields or whatever that think everything that Marvel Snap doing that they're doing is perfect. It's got to be a conversation. Got to fucking talk about some of the shit and some of the questions. And, and not everything is perfect with this fucking game. The gameplay is fun, and I want to see to see it succeed because I'm a Marvel fan. But we also have to be fucking real with some of the questions when it comes to bundles. What are we doing with gold? What is fucking happening with these albums? Stuff being canceled. It's just things are becoming temporary for movie shit, but then it's just going to go right back to just being dog shit, sweat fest stuff. Like, what are we doing, man? Really? I really didn't know if I really wanted to make this video. I, I, I've... I, I was just like, yo, let me just take a break. I'm just not going to talk about it. But I looked at looking at my channel. I haven't made, you know, Marvel Snap content in, in, a, in a cool minute because I don't want to have to put in mad. I don't, I don't make enough. I don't, you know what I'm saying? For anything to justify spending like a hundred dollars on the game for cosmetic stuff, for gold that I'm just going to love for a cosmetic, for cosmetic shit. Or to maybe get a new card with all these series five stuff that's been happening. On. Like I'm saying, I'm not gonna be collection complete. I don't want to. I don't want to put in three hundred, four hundred, five hundred bucks to be com uh, to be collection complete. I don't want to have to play the game for like eight hours to climb and and try to get you know to get on the collection track to hopefully unlock a cash that's not a gold ticket or a hundred tokens for the amount of fucking time that I've been putting into the shit to try to do things with this game to progress. It's just the progression doesn't match the, the money that's been put into the game. In my opinion, maybe for you, but for me, no. So even if you're a whale, I'm just trying to figure out what, what whales are doing. You know what I'm saying? To, when even the, no, no matter no matter the amount of money that you put in, you're not going to be collection complete. You're not going to have every variant unless you're fucking super tech god or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, but what what the fuck are we doing, bro? Albums being ridiculous. Like, what the fuck are we doing, bro? I've been trying to, to, to grasp what what this game has been doing and I've been getting frustrated, so I needed a break. I'm having fun playing a different game. But that's part of the reason I just wanted to make I just wanted to question like what's been happening with this game. Why 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 is it the way it is currently? I guess gameplay wise it could be it, it can be fun, but I under fucking stand why content creators are have been falling out of love with this game. I fucking I loved it. I played it every day for damn near for two for two fucking years. I played it for a long time and I wanted to make content over the stuff and, and go over decks and everything like that. But I wasn't streaming this game. I was hoping, you know, like try to do like had ideas for my channel. But I guess once I once I put in a, a negative video about this, about the game. Like, fuck all the cool decks that I was trying to cover and, and, and be different and, and do off-meta things like that. Like, fuck that. Fuck the highlights. Fuck, you know, me talking deck tech or anything like that. It was just the moment where I would talk about a card, then the fucking shills and the trolls would want to come at me for fucking just voicing my opinion. And they're, you don't know what you're talking about. Like, this, I, I beat this card. Your fucking, your experience is not my experience. Your collection level is not my fucking collection level. If you're fucking collection level 2000, you're still not, like, you don't even have all the pull fucking three cards yet. 
And you're yapping about, well, I, I get infinite because I fucking play against bots all the fucking time. And I, 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 I win with fucking Quicksilver and Africa decks. Like, dog, no one, I don't care. Your experience is not my fucking experience, dog. And if you have it, like, you're having a fucking grand time, fucking awesome. But some of us out there have been very fucking frustrated about the monetization, about uh, things that were, pro like, not necessarily promised, but they were in the works and then get fucking shitted on, but they have everything in the fucking world to make new deals for you to spend money on. And all, some of us fucking wanted card mastery. Some of us wanted a fucking, the ultimate to do something else rather than to, to have the same effects of every, every other fucking normal card that's in the fucking game. What are we fucking doing? I know this is gonna, this is a, sound like doomer shit, but if you've been feeling frustrated and and you've been wanting, you've been thinking like, man, I should take a fucking break from this game, dude. Take the fucking break, man. Because I know they're doing these FOMO tactics of like, well, we updated this car, so maybe you should come. Like, you're not going to get the, just because they did this, you're not going to get the fucking card. The, the prices are still going to be the fucking same, dude. Take the break. Take the fucking break from this game. And it's okay from to question some of the things that are happening with this game because what the fuck are they doing? Why is it this much to the the drop this much and I and I and I'm barely getting two thirds of a fucking card. I gotta complete an album and I gotta complete half an album for two thirds of a fuck of tokens of a brand new fucking card because everything's been coming out has been series fucking five, and even then I gotta I gotta play so many fucking games to climb up to. To hopefully not get gold tickets or whatever. To to finally get a spotlight key and maybe maybe get a new the, the series five card to unlock. No, I gotta keep playing the the save four keys to get guaranteed to get a guaranteed card of what I've been you know I, I'm looking at this card fucking a month ahead. I can get enough keys to get. And then you don't even know if the fucking card is good or not. Or you fucking wait and the fucking card sucks. And now you uh, the card that you decided to skip on, you don't fucking have. Now you got to wait months to get that card. And that can change. You don't know if it's going to be good or not. No, I said that. Okay, like I bought fucking Cannonball. Because after I, I, I fucking unlocked War Machine and that card fucking sucked dick. And I felt FOMO from trying to get Cannonball and then I got Cannonball. But I think I only got to use them for a fucking season before they changed the card. And you don't know if they're going to change it or not. That's what fucking sucks about this shit because you don't know if the, the card is going to change or not. You have to wait. You got to be patient. You got to look at, you got to look at every fucking announcement. You got to, you got to, you got to sign on to this shit. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Not every fucking player that's new is going to understand that shit when it comes to this game. Like, what the fuck are we doing? The content for this game has gotten boring because everyone's playing the same fucking deck. The what are we doing? The IGN shit that came out was just not exciting for me to want to be like to oh I gotta come back and play this game. Once you get over the FOMO shit, it's it's a wrap. Because what like what the fuck are we doing, bro? Some of the meta change, like some of the car changes, just doesn't, it still doesn't entice me to come back to play the game. The Eternals, none of them make me want to come back to play the game. I know Arishim has been a card that everyone's got, is looking out for. Or something that, that is, none of that is making me want to fucking play the game. And if you have the same feeling that I've been having, take the fucking break, dog.
until something absolutely fucking brand new happens. I just I just can't find myself playing the game, dude. I just can't find myself playing this shit, bro. No amount of Athena to play Kitty Pride and and bounce like the the archety- There's not enough archetypes of this shit that makes me want to come back to play this game because it's been relatively just like the same nut like. And I feel like even if I wanted to try to play those decks, I have to put in so much money to get one fucking card. Granted, I have the season pass card. Season pass card, you spend 10 bucks. So I'm wrong in that aspect. But you know what I mean. That if you didn't get it during the, the caches, because you have to you have to save. Everyone's telling you to save with four keys to get the card guaranteed, even, even if you have. 700 fucking times that Modoc and X23 has been part of the fucking spotlight caches, but none of the other fucking cards have been. That's another fucking problem. Some of the bundles have been fucking stupid and shit like that. I already got the cards for majority of the stuff, but God forbid that I, I want to be able to have a card and, and not gamble on the shit. And then the card end up being dog shit. That should be on me. But what like what the fuck are we doing, dog? What's the game doing? What the fuck are we doing? 